All right, here's a uh, quick tutorial on how to set up your ML API Unity project to use the ML API Relay server. And this is a just a little sample game that I put together based on the tutorials from SR Coder and Stu Heckenberg. And it's kind of a, a, a squishing of their two tutorials into a project plus some other stuff that I picked up on the Discord server. But um, anyways, I have my network object here with the network manager. And in the network manager, you can either scroll down to your unit transport or you can right click on the network transport here and go to properties. And down here, there's this uh, use ML API relay. This is the IP address of the server that will be hosting your relays. This is not my actual relay server. I'm borrowing a server from a friend and I didn't want to publish their IP address. And then this is the port that the relay server is listening on. And this has to be open on your server. And so if we, so once this is all set up, you could, you build this project or you could just test it right in Unity. And I have some pre-built uh, um, instances and so on the server in the folder where I have uh, the, the ML API relay there is a um, I have a script here that every time I run it it will change mod 755 the whole directory the published directory that um, was created in my previous um, video on building the server and so it'll uh, and I do this just in case if I'm working on it um, and I want to re-upload it I could reset the permissions and then I just run the publish ML API relay and I'm going to do that now and once I run it the server started and then on one of these I'm going to host the game and when I host the game, you could see that it got a connection from my computer. And this is the IP address of my house. And if I want to join a game, I need to put that IP address in. Um, if I use uh, my local IP address, uh, the server won't know how to connect to it because it's, it's an internal IP number. It's got to be the IP address from my router, which the server detects. So now when I join the game, I get my second game object. I have to move these out of the way. And then I'm going to join the game again. And I got a third object. All right. And you can see the connections up here. Uh, coming for, They're all coming from the same house. Um, and then if I quit an instance, you can see that, it, they'll, that instance will drop out of the others once the uh, relay passes that on. And if you quit the host, the uh, remaining clients will lose all their connections. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that stuff.